welcome to another week's video. So I posted yesterday, it's Monday. Um, just gonna carry on trying to get this van in primer. Um, but quickly before we start, just want to thank everyone for all their amazing comments sort of last week. Especially a, a massive thank you to um, John from To The Garage. Um, he put a link on there on his uh, YouTube channel. Um, so his subscribers to come and have a look at mine. So John, thank you. Um, and for all my subscribers, just check out his um, YouTube channel, To The Garage. Um, he's got a T2 um, called Olive and he's doing some work on that. So he also uh, owns a Jag and whatnot else. So check that guy out. <laughs> to be honest, the videos I watch to, um, his, his kind of videos are the stuff I watch so I can get my van done. So John, thank you. Um, right, I'm gonna crack on with some work um, and then get something done for this week. Hopefully get this side in paint. Let's have a go. So, started throwing the primer on. To be honest, I'm just doing it little by little. I don't want to pee the neighbours off. The noise of the compressor, so. Threw a bit of a tarp on here over there as well. Just to, so yeah, just doing it, um, just little bit by little bit really, making sure it's right. Get, keep putting the coats on. Um, so yeah. I'm going to carry on keep doing this, um, video it I suppose, but you've seen me do the paint before, um, I'll just keep putting it on, it take, might take a few hours, I'd say I'm only doing it a little bit by little bit, um, so I'll catch you all when it's all done, and then we'll throw a bit of guide coat over it, and then tomorrow we can start um, flattening all that back. Um, and then just be ready for paint this side. Getting there with the primer now. Just show you some of the issues I've been getting. Um, it can happen with some of these old paints. Um, you can see that there. Paint's pickling up a little bit. And it, you know what? It can be the paint that was on it before. You never know what's used. A couple of areas there. I'm going to have to try and do some up with those. A little bit there. Wait till the primer's dry. I'll give it a quick flatting off and then uh, have another go in a sec. But yeah, that could be anything. That could just be the old red paint that was on before. It was a nightmare to get off, to be fair, when I was DAing inside that door. Um, depending what it was used in the past with this and the solvent it's in, it just pickles it up. So, um, could be an issue. Uh, I'll give it a flat back and see what happens. Try and put some light coats on. And the um, just threw some guide coat on there. Um, I'll explain what it is. So it's basically just any sort of air. So you got blacks probably works the best. Um, and then what you do tomorrow, tomorrow or later on, is you're flatting back. Obviously, if there's any of this little black, it'll stick in all the scratches. So you got to make sure you get all that out, and then you know it's all level and smooth. So front of the old van well not the whole van the old side of the van in that guide coat um yeah so we'll uh i'll flat that off tomorrow morning and then hopefully we'll be able to get it in a bit of paint stay tuned yeah so what you've all been waiting for i'll have to get my uh new spray booth up tomorrow um when i paint this struggle with a bit today with the um with the primer coat um, which you expect, I haven't put anything up, weather's been dry, um, but it is any primer, so tomorrow I'll get the spray booth up. So that's me done for today. I'm going to let that dry properly. I uh, might come over that round after with the step. Stone guarded it. Um, might as well, it's going to be used a lot. Um, also stone guarded inside there. You now you don't see it when the door's on. Um, so yeah, I want to flat all that back tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. See what it's like. I mean, it's not perfect, and it. This is where I need to stop myself. I think. Um, and just think it's an old van and you know it's not everything's not gonna be absolutely perfect. Um easier said than done though. 
Um, so, crack on with it tomorrow. Right, good morning guys. Uh, Tuesday, early morning, weather's not great. There's a few dark clouds about. So, job for today. Right, so, I wanna try and get the van painted later. That's gonna depend on two things really, the weather. Um, I will reveal my new uh, spray booth to you. Um, but first job is to do this guide coating. So already started, already started there. I'll explain what we do for those that don't know. Ones that do know, just bear with the ones that don't for a second. I'll show you what I mean. And then um, I'll show people how to do it then. Just bear with me. Right then, so what we want to do, we want to get this panel as flat as what we possibly can for paint. So you'll need, just grab it out of the bucket, and you'll need a bucket of water, clean, um, a rubber flatting block, ideally some 800 or 600 wet and dry sort of flatting paper. Obviously we want to keep everything that we block, everything we block we want to keep uh, flat. So I'll show you, I'll start and then do a small section together and then when you do yours so you want to keep your blocks flat cheers hopefully mate yeah Also, use two purposes, always use these. Get them, use them as a squeegee. I'll take you just a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So, all these bits here, where the, you, we wanna be getting the, the black aerosol out. And you can look close, you'll see little scratches that it leaves the black air or something. That's what we want to get out. So then we know when we put our top coat on, um, all the fine scratches are out. So I'll carry on, which is a better angle for you to have a look at. Let's do that there. My job probably be standing in the way there. Some light handed. Let's just pop you there. you get all this sort of like obviously the primer sort of thing do it in small sections it will take a while to do again back here again still needs a little bit more work and that's it guys all the blacks off I did that's gone through to the other base layer of primer really um, but it'll be okay um, ideally I would like to use sort of like a filler primer or some of that but it's it's two pack and I can't do that outside it's not loud so everything I'm using is selling it's a bit thinner but that'll be good enough at least you know obviously when you come to your edges there you can if you obviously you're not gonna be able to use the block and everything but when you come to sort of edges, always try and keep your hand as flat as possible. Avoid finger flatting like that. If you've got to use your hand, keep your hand as flat as possible. Okay. So it's going to take quite a while to do all this van. I'm not going to video it all because obviously it's going to take forever. Just take your time, make sure you've got it right. 
Uh, make sure you're happy with it really, so get it, get it right. This will show you any imperfections that you may want to put a skimmer, a more skimmer filler over or whatever else. Nasty enough for that there. Right then, uh, do a quick uh, sort of recap well where we are. So, just so you've got some idea of time, sort of frame, when you're doing that. That's probably to get that top section done there. It probably took me a little under an hour, so this is not a quick process. So if you think it should just fly off, uh, it won't. Um, but I just thought that'd be sort of information you might want to see. So something like that's going to take you about a, an hour, just under. Obviously we've got the whole van to do, so this isn't a, a quick process by any stretch. Um, so some issues, which we, what we're doing this whole process for, I guess. So obviously there, the scratches, I'll try and zoom in. The scratches were a little bit too deep in that filler work there, and this is what we're trying to find out. So it's, it's gone back to sort of the filler. Um, some areas where the darker gray, that's gone through to the original primer, but that's no that's no big problem, it's nothing to worry about. Some areas down here it's gone through, possibly that, that filler was just a little bit too high. Um, and it's gone through a little bit there, but obviously now, when you've done the whole van, you go over there and you just spot primer that, with a bit of spot primer, um, whatever you're using, because I'm mean, gonna use cellulose paint. I'm gonna show you uh, guys that are gonna use the same. A little trick um, I'll actually use the cellulose um, as a primer and then I'll flat that back but it'll be the same color as the van of all this all the bits where it's burnt through see there it's gone through on that edge there it's bare metal we'll have to cover that up might give that a little bit of dust to primer this is what I mean be careful with your edges because they will sort of burn through you want to try and leave primer wherever you can that's the reason you've put it on after all um, so I'm gonna grab me a coffee um, Two things I do suggest you do. I say it's not. A, just said it, it's not a quick process. If you're in a workshop, stick your favourite music on. If you're outside, get your headphones, stick your favourite album on, and just uh, persevere with it. It will, will turn all right. So I'm gonna carry on. See all you guys in a second. Right then. Prime example, really, of what we're trying to. Obviously, we did a big filler. We did big filler work here. If you look very, very finely, you see all the the guide coat showing you where all the, the scratches are. That's what we're trying to get rid of. Bear with me, let's see if they can get rid of them. So, same section. Gone. That's what we want to get rid of. Uh, those you wouldn't have saw, unless you put the guide coat on. Um, those scratches are going like this, sort of vertically so I got a 600 block 600 paper on horizontally until all those have gone I hope that you want I hope that's clear enough so you understand when you're doing it yourselves right then that's pretty much all now um, flatted off well it is all flatted off <coughs> So, a couple of things that are going to make me nervous now in the next sort of step. Um, obviously, a couple of places where it's, the paint started sort of to pickle through. So there, there's bits in there. There's a bit up the top. But I think what I'm going to do now, uh, going on to the second thing that makes me nervous, is that blooming spray gun. I know it sounds stupid, but this is the, the biggest sort of sin, really, when painting cars, using a primer gun and then using it to put top coat on i'm gonna to have to make sure it's absolutely spotless um because it'll just throw guaranteed it'll just throw a little bit of gray primer in no matter how hard you do it this is why ideally it's nice to have a primer gun a cheap primer gun and then um and then you'd like top coat gun well i haven't got that so that's what i'm going to carry on with i'm going to probably pull it down to the garage and dust some once I've cleaned the gun out, dust some of the actual paint over the little repairs and I'll show you how to do little spot repairs with the colours, with the colour that you're using. Um, so I'll carry on with that. 
and then hope we can get some paint on later. I can I keep saying it might be tomorrow now, but see how far we can get. Right then, guys, um, ready to paint this van. Um, and I guess now you're all going to want to see the spray booth that I've got. Um, this is special. So, had this off eBay, did quite lucky. Um, so, are you all ready for the new spray booth re reveal? Ready? Flip you around in one, two, three. Oh, didn't think it was going to be an actual spray booth, did you? No, I'm not sponsored by a party marquees. This is now our spray booth. And I'll take you inside. Come on, let's have a look. There we go, inside. Keeps the wind and the rain off us. There's Lisa masking out the wheels. So I'm gonna crack on, get some paint on this van. And I will see you all in a sec. Good morning. <sighs> well, you'll all be interested to know how the painting went. So, bit of a nightmare, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'll show, quickly show you in a sec what it's turned out like, um, but but that combi colour um, that I used, that's turned out to be an absolute, that's proper bit me in the arse, I'm not going to lie, it just reacts, every time I try and put any kind of paint on, it reacts like you wouldn't believe, um, so I'm really disappointed with it, I'm not going to lie, two days of prep work and then the paint's not come out the best, um, I'm not sure what to do. Um, well, I'm gonna, what I'm going to try and do is section. I'm going to see if it would polish up. Um, but I know what I'm like. I'm going to end up painting it again. Um, simple. Um, I'll spin you around and I'll show you what it looks like. It doesn't even look the same colour. I so I really had to... Just areas when I kept... Um, I kept putting the paint on. You know, to go and try and get a finished sort of coat. And as soon as I put any type of heavy coat on, it just sort of pickled up. And almost it was, it was acting like sort of paint stripper um, I wish now I'd have just have had the extra time and just to de-aid everything off um, but I didn't so I'm a bit gutted today as you probably tell um, and not the fact that it doesn't really matter but it just feels like a bit of a waste of time if you know what I mean so I'll show you anyway you can uh, have a look for yourselves just bear with me So there she is this morning. Um, I'll show you the front, and that's turned out really nice. So that's a positive, and inside the doors come out lovely. So where this, where this old paint was there. So I'll show you up the top there. It's still pickled up. Um, and then it also might not catch it on the camera but when I started to put a lot of paint on it started to haze up as well but I kind of knew that I probably guess that was going to happen the amount of paint I was trying to lob on just to try and cover it your seat round by there you see the hazy so there she is and that's the colour Oop, fell into a bush and there's the colour. You have to let me know what you think. I think with um, a cream roof or a white roof, obviously I'm going white with the wheels. I think she'll look really nice. I'm just a bit deflated this morning. That's all. And like you say, not the fact that these things happen. The fact that there's a time that you put in. You know, maybe I should have hit it in smaller sections. I don't know. But yeah, she's going to look quite nice, I think. You have to let me know in the comments below. But, okay, we've got a problem. It's not all bad. Um, at least I know not to use that combi colour as kind of. I thought I was doing the right thing by using the combi colour so the rust wouldn't come back through because you've got a rust inhibitor in it. It's just. It's proper kicked me in the arse massively. Um, but.
but on a positive note, spray booth worked really well. Uh, kept the wind off me. Um, it'd be good if it rains. Um, will it stand up in any bad weather? <laughs> probably not. It'll probably end up like a big kite. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do this morning before I do anything else, I'm going to take a section of that van, I'm going to give it a 2000. And I'm going to see the worst bit, and I'm going to see if there's any chance of being able to mop this up. There is loads of paint on there, that's my only saving grace. Um, <laughs> probably too much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a go with the little section, see where it flats back, see whether it would even polish up um, before we start. Scotching it back and sticking another coat or paint on, but yeah, we'll see. Bear with me. So yeah, it's surprising, really, isn't it? Um, just polish that up a little bit. Just I'm done. I'm done this bit here, but I've done this, this section here just to see. It got quite a nasty sort of glaze on it. Um, to be honest, see that from the the old van now I reckon it'll polish up all right and then what we'll do it might be good to show you guys anyway so um, where it's bad up there we'll just we'll just spot repair it I'll show you to spot repair this set of those um, and there's a bit there on the door but we'll do the same you can always try and spot spot you can't see it on the camera um, Try and spot repair some of the repairs after. Um, so yeah, a little bit more cheery than what it was this morning. What's everyone reckon to the colour then? Um, we need to change our minds again, to be quite honest with you, and gone back to the original grey, but I don't know. I think that's going to look nice with a white roof. I was going to maybe do a cream roof or an off-white roof. Um, white bumpers, uh, white wheels. Um, I think it will look quite nice. It looked different anyway. Right, I'm going to crack on. Um, try and get this inside of this door pane so I can get it put back on. Good morning. How are we all? So yeah, yesterday I uh, pretty much tried to polish uh, the, the side of the van. Uh, that I painted didn't come out very well to be fair when I painted it, but I spent some hours polishing it and it's not turned out too bad I'll show you some areas that I'm not quite happy with um, I'll share them with you though we Kind of keep any sort of secrets. I could flip this round now and to you guys you think oh, that's perfect But you know, there's a few areas that aren't quite right. So um, I'll show you those um, And then all that's left to do uh, for this week's video and paint the inside and outside of that door Get that back on back up work next week so i'm gonna need the van for then um so yeah let's have a look let's see what she looks like now polished up so there we go it's hot it's gonna be hard for you to see so there's me obviously check out my pink foot pops so yeah Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I actually really like the colour. I was kind of sorry. Yeah, really like the colour. Look nice. I think I'm gonna go with a cream or a white roof. Um, as you see now, start moving around, start getting it all painted to get sort of a feel for what she's gonna look like. So, yeah, so a couple of areas that I'm gonna have to um, do a bit of work to. You're not gonna show up on camera, so you'll have to trust me. Started to burn through a little there. I know that's me being very picky. Um, the rest of it's pretty good. Just show you one of the lips. I'm not going to see. Oh, you can slightly. There, started to burn through. 
but we can roll max we'll roll back off that edge and i'll show you how to do a little smart repair beans that's what i used to do um another area that's not very good which we know was i don't know whether that's going still pickling there on that top but again so i'm trying to this this roll mask we can just paint that very top lip again but we'll roll mask back off there and we'll do a little smart repair on it it's the reason i chose the paint yeah two pack paint you know it's probably the newer stuff but you know you can get away with a lot with this cellulose stuff and um say so get away with as you can do a lot of sort of smart repair sort of patch repairs in the future so i chose it really it's a bit more versatile than the water-based stuff that you use now so yeah so i suppose what she looked like She's quite happy with that to be fair i wasn't yesterday so i wasn't very happy yesterday to be honest um i mean i'm glad i had a go at trying to sort of give it a polish but by 10 o'clock yesterday to be fair i was um, pretty much well i'm i was pretty much just going to 600 the old lot off and paint it again but i knew i'd put them i knew i'd put a lot of paint on there we're trying to cover sort of the heat reacting so i just spent pretty much well I spent hours just 2000 wet well what i started with was 1200 wet and dry then i moved to 2000 wet and dry and then i spent spent a few hours polishing it up and you know what it's not bad you'd have to really know you'd have to really be pointed out the imperfections really to um to know where they were um so yeah as a whole for now it will do i will repair those sections at some point um but yeah for now it will do so to finish this week's video then i'm just going to have to repair and paint that door well not repair it just paint that door um both sides i just sat to quickly sort of put this on a video if i had to sum up in one picture what it's like working on a van without a unit um I think this would be um, you know garden furniture for stands uh, pallets to put inside the doors on while you're painting them because I've got no stands I think that's probably like pretty much all of us uh, that do this kind of stuff I had to put it on there, I found it quite funny when you look what you're trying to do. You're trying to do your pride and joy and this is what you how are you <laughs> this is how we're trying to paint them. So inside's done in that door anyway. I'm gonna pop that on after. I'm not gonna paint the um I'm not gonna paint I'm not an animal, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna paint the back side of the door uh on the floor. I'm actually gonna put it on the van. Save it even a little bit of dust going on here. Um but yeah, I thought <laughs> well, it was quite funny. Right then guys, that's us done then for another week's video. Um, thank you for everyone who's watching. Thanks, I hope you've all got to the end. Um, and uh, if you do and you have got to the end, you know what, consider subscribing, just hit the link below, join us on our journey. Um, so I'm gonna leave it there. I know you're gonna wanna see the van, half the van finished, so I'll put that now. Uh, guys, thank you again for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks for all your amazing comments. And I'll see you all next week. Cheers.